Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Proviance, and today I'm taking you into the world of ember roasting. This is a little subculture of the grilling world, and it involves cooking food right on the embers or right next to the embers. And you can do all kinds of things this way. Corn on the cob, potatoes, you can actually even grill steak right on the embers. And speaking of steak, this is one of my favorite side dishes for a steak. I'm going to do melted onions. So I'm going to take these whole onions in their skins and cook them right on the hot embers until they're actually black all over. And the thing is that you're going to peel away that black outer layer and what's underneath is this beautifully sweet, succulent, tender uh, onion that I'm going to cook down in a pan with some butter and vinegar and parsley. You'll see it in a little bit. It's really, really good. But first I want to set up my grill. This happens to be a performer grill which has a cool gas ignition system. So let me show you how it works. So the way to get this grill started is to take off the grate, pull your charcoal out of the storage bin below the work table, and pour about a hundred briquettes or an equal amount of lump charcoal right in the center of the charcoal grate. And then alongside that work table there is a panel there and if you lift the cover you're going to find a little knob. Turn that knob on which allows the gas to flow push a button and now you've got a flame actually burning right under the briquettes and you're just going to use that to light the charcoal. It's going to burn for five or ten minutes just until the coals get going then turn off the gas and let the coals burn as usual into the point that you want them. In this case you want them completely ashed over and now is the time that you add your onions. Whole onions with their skin right on top of the embers you want to basically blacken and burn them on the outside. It's going to take a while, actually about an hour, maybe even an hour and a half, depending upon the size of the onions, and turn them every 15 minutes or so just to make sure they're cooking evenly. You'll know that they're done when you can slide a knife right into the onions and out with hardly any resistance, almost as if it was a ripe tomato. Then take the onions off of the grill and let them cool until you can handle them. At that point, you want to cut each onion in half through the stem and the root end so that they hold together reasonably well. And then peel off that blackened skin and maybe a layer or two of the onion and arrange those in a disposable pan, the cut side facing down, along with some butter, some seasoning, some salt and pepper, a little splash of vinegar, and put the pan on the grill to melt the butter and to cook down that glaze and to further caramelize the onions and they get super sweet this way, super tender. I call them melted onions because it's exactly what they do. You finish them with a little bit of parsley and they make an absolutely killer side dish for a grilled steak or almost anything else off the grill. There you have it, hot from the embers.